issues with that. It may be happening, but it will raise a huge privacy flag everywhere in the world. And so it will always have to be permission-based. Uh, anytime you're tracking somebody, it has to be permission-based. This is what the government or, or so mandate. We, or so we all hope. Or right? so we all definitely hope. <laughs> now here's where things get really interesting. Now this will take you from point A to point B. But what about the fact that there's massive traffic jams from the route it's given you? This is how it will solve it. Is GPS only capable of showing you roads, maps and give you directions? Well, not really. In future, your navigator device will also be your counsellor and will inform you what roads are congested, blocked or traffic infested. Traffic data will be updated in real time and will give you clear visual, audio and data notices of what the situation is in front of you. For instance, in this demo, a collision has taken place and road sensors have picked up the information that there is now a traffic jam and relayed it instantly to all GPS traffic data devices. It will also suggest alternative routes, but this technology requires infrastructure like surveillance cameras at key intersections to monitor and feed the information to your GPS device or even require people to be deployed with GPS devices to physically drive through the roads and report back traffic data. Okay, Rohan, what can we do to make sure you bring this in quickly? Can you do this? Yeah, the technology is sitting with us and our partners to make traffic information available real time to your GPS devices or on the internet or via SOS. But I know, I, somehow I feel in your tone there's a but coming. But it's uh, going to take time for that to come. Why? What, what is the timeline? The things required to create the traffic what? information. It needs a proliferation of GPS devices out there. We'll have uh, actual people out there carrying GPS devices or GPS devices in vehicles driving around feeding back the information to the system, creating that, collating that information, and then making it available via the internet, via SMS, or via your GPS devices using something called TMC receivers. Okay. I have like one example with me okay. here. Okay. It's a FM receiver. So which can receiver. Okay. So, so this is an FM receiver, right? Right. Okay, and the information would come in, this would plug into one of the GPS devices that you own, and you plug this in, there's an adapter here, plug here, and this will start relaying the information in, saying, okay, this is the route you're taking, but this particular stretch is seriously traffic infested. Let's not take that and look for an option. Is that the kind of thing we can look into the future? Yeah, exactly. That's okay. exactly. So, so, so where exactly is the problem that you're not being able to get oh, this it's on just this funding? It's just that the whole category is new, that business has to be created, the technology has to be used to create the real-time traffic information, and it's something we're working on. In our okay, so let's, let's get a kind of an estimate. Which month of this year can you give this to us? You can, you'll probably just wait for six months to nine months and really? you'll be seeing this in India. Thank you very much for being on the show, and I hope you can find your home back, but don't, there's no problem, you have a GPS device. Thanks. Thank Thanks, Rajiv.